Okay, we will um, we'll go back to electric circuits uh, in just a minute. Let's just have a detour because we just saw when uh, we combined Ohm's law with uh, Kirchhoff's current law uh, that a matrix K, that I called K, came up, which was uh, the, the, the matrix K that, I, that came up was called the Laplacian, and that's what I called it, and it was A transpose A. Okay? And uh, I want to spend just a few minutes uh, studying that particular combination. For the graph you can see here, this is our famous graph, um, this of course is A. Well, you know what? Uh, let's keep that uh, separate. Let's put uh, let's put a up here, okay. And then this is a transpose. Just check, okay. And what I want to do is work out k, which is this times this. All right. Uh, so let's just go ahead and do that and just see what we get. Um, I think what I might do is I might just uh, put. Uh, remember, what we have to do is you take that and you put it over the top. Uh, minus one zero zero and you and you bring it down okay and correct me if I'm wrong it looks to me like I get a, a two from the first uh, you know this one times the elements of that one all added up and then I get it looks like a minus one because I get from that and that all right and then nothing from anything else and then it looks like I get a zero and it looks like I get a minus one Okay, because I just, it's just in the last comment, it's just that one times that one, and then nothing else gives me anything. Okay, you know how to multiply matrices. I'm just going to tell you uh, what the answer is. This is what you get if you just work out uh, what those, uh, what those, that matrix product is. Of course, it's the product of two matrices. This one, of course, is uh, n uh, by m, and this one is m by n, okay? So it's not surprising, then, that I get an n by n result, okay? And let's check. Remember, when you're doing these calculations, uh, we decided in the last lecture that this is a symmetric matrix, it's square, it's symmetric, and let's just check that the elements of this uh, thing that we've worked out is indeed symmetric. It's a good way to check you did it correctly. Um, okay. No longer is it just ones, minus ones, and zeros. That's the first thing to notice. But there's also a few other things to notice. Well, first of all, um, it is indeed square. It's symmetric. We knew that before we even computed it. Uh, three, um, I notice something about this. Have you noticed the off diagonals are uh, the off diagonals are all minus one? Nothing else, just minus one or zero. Okay, the off diagonals are minus one or zero, but I don't see any other numbers. And then interesting numbers on the diagonal, 2, 3, 2, and 3. I've been encouraging you to think outside the box here and to think geometrically about these things from the start. 2, 3, 2, and 3. Let's look at my graph there. Where do I see those numbers geometrically? Well, uh, if you look at that, it's got two nodes, hasn't it? Two edges connected to the nodes, and that's node one, okay, which is in location one. And then the same thing, same thing over here on, uh, for node three, right? And then you can see the other two nodes have three edges connected to them, okay? So I wonder if the diagonal elements of the matrix K, the Laplacian, are connected to the number of edges meeting at the node. Hmm. Don't know. Best thing to do, if you're in doubt, do another example. We get rid of this graph here and show you another one. 
let's do this uh, live because it's good revision. We want to work out the uh, we want to work out the incidence matrix for this. And you can see what I've done. I've labeled the nodes one, two, three, and four. So remember, they go at the top here as just labels. They're just to guide me. They're not the elements of the matrix. These are just guiding me. And then I've got uh, four edges in this case. So I know my incidence matrix is going to be four by four. M is at four and N is four. OK, so you remember how to do this. Let's go to node uh, to edge A. We're going to fill in the rows. Remember, we put a minus one in the column with node one because the edge with the arrow that I've chosen, by the way, I chose those arbitrarily, uh, goes in out of node one and into node two, and it doesn't go near uh, nodes three and four. Edge B goes out of node two into node three, doesn't touch the others. Edge C comes out of node three and into node four, doesn't touch the others. And D Edge D looks like it goes out of node 4 and into node 2. Yes, node 2. There we go. All right. And over here, look, let's just write down the trans. Once you've got A, you just transpose it. OK, so I just get this. Just the transpose of that. And what I want to do is to work out K the Laplacian, what I've called this Laplacian matrix. OK, well, uh, you know, you just do the matrix calculation again. Let's just see. It looks like from, from this row over there, I get a 1. From this row over there, I get a minus 1. From this row over there, I get a 0. From this row over there, I get a 0. OK. And let's do this one over that one. Looks like I get a minus 1. This one over this one. I get, ooh, I get a 3. And then this one over this one gives me a minus 1. And then that looks like I get another minus 1. 0. You all know how to multiply matrices. I'm just doing this very quickly. And 0, minus 1, minus 1, 2. By the way, I know there was a point there when I could have just filled in the rest by symmetry. Okay, But I worked them out anyway just to be sure. Well. Uh, let's see if this fits the pattern that we noticed before. Well, first of all, I notice uh, yet again that the off-diagonal elements, look, are all minus 1 or 0. And then let's test our conjecture about diagonal elements. Node 1. The diagonal element is 1, and I notice that it has one edge coming out of it. Node 2 has three edges coming out of it, and the diagonal uh, element is 3. The other nodes, 3 and 4, have 2, and those are consistent with that. OK, I have a conjecture. This is a conjecture, but it's not. Basically, it's a little exercise for you uh, to prove. I can write any k as d minus w, OK, where this is called the degree matrix. OK, so it's diagonal with elements given by the number of edges connected to node i. So with diagonal d i i. OK, so the the ith diagonal element will be the number of edges connected to node i, where i, of course, labels uh, the node. And w, this is called, I'm going to call this, it turns out, uh, it's not my words, everyone uses this, uh, it's the adjacency matrix. OK. And basically, this isn't diagonal, so it's generally got an ij component. Um, this is equal to 1 if node i is connected by an edge, by a single edge, 
to node j and zero otherwise. Okay, and if you just go back to, uh, for example, this uh, um, and look at the, uh, this was the wrong graph. Uh, let's go back to this, oh no, this was the right graph. So let's just go back to this. This was the right graph, right? Because we have one, three, two, and two. Notice that um, there's a minus one here, look, because node one and two are connected by an edge. But there's zeros in these locations because uh, they aren't. Uh, node one is not connected to nodes three and four. Okay, So this is indeed D minus W, where D is one, three, two, two, with zeros everywhere else, and W is um, zeros on the diagonal. Okay, And then minus one, zero, zero, minus one, minus one. Oh, no. Remember, I put the minus sign out. So um, there's all just ones in here. Okay, I deliberately took out the um, the ones, the minus sign. I mean. Okay, I think that's right. Okay, that decomposition of the Laplacian into the degree matrix and minus the adjacency matrix will be useful to us a bit later on.